I can actually go all the way to my childhood. Um, even when I was five, you know how you ask the proverbial question of like, oh, what are you going to be when you, when you grow up? I always said I'm going to be an artist. I always knew even when I was five years old that that's what I was going to be. And so it just kind of took off from there and it was like whatever I could dabble in. It was pastels or, you know, whatever I can get my hands on. It was sewing or painting. It just, it kept going. And so I decided to go to art school, which was Columbus College of Art and Design. And then I got into an origami, which also became another obsession. Uh, paper being the medium was something I really enjoyed working with. The meditative processes, the rhythmic kind of repetitive things. And um, so from there, I, I think I just got bored. And um, instead of continuing to create other people's designs um, and those geometric shapes, I decided to move on to something more expressive which was uh, Paper Flowers, and that was about eight or nine years ago. My grandmother growing up always had lots of plants in her house, and I think just seeing that and being around that, it, it was kind of like um, an inspiration for me. And so having lots of plants myself and also going outdoors in nature, I'm always drawn in, and it's always the little things. It's the meticulous little details, uh, the magic behind nature, the spirit of nature. That's what I am inspired by. The paper is always cardstock. Um, for plants and then for flowers, it's um, always an Italian crepe. So the, there's two separate kinds of, of papers that I use. From that, I use a carbine blade cutting machine, which is the Cricut. Everybody knows it as a Cricut. And I have two of those. I also have a Glowforge laser um, that I use for some of the more precise things. Um, so I'll have all the shapes cut out in very uh, variegated sizes. So it'll range from a large to a small. And from that point, um, I shape and sculpt with my hand. I glue it together, assembling it. And then from that point, the paint is really where all the magic, the alchemy lies. It's the process of, of combining all kinds of different sprays, um, hair products, and different things to kind of make that magic come out of a piece of paper, make it look real, as real as possible. I got connected with Franklin Park Conservatory about four or five years ago. Um, they reached out to me to do some classes. So we've known about each other for, for a, quite a while. And um, fast forward all the way till now, I think they were looking for somebody to open up that space and kind of bring something new in there and came across my work. And I've come quite a bit of distance from four to five years ago anyway. So it was, uh, it was perfect, and honestly, I'd been wanting to be in there anyways and was trying to figure out who to talk to to get in that space. So to get that phone call, to get that email was like a big deal to me because I still am very honored and, and excited and amazed. Really what I'm trying to do is remind everybody that there is nature out there. There is something to be looked at and appreciated. And a lot of times we forget about it. You know, we, we move on in our worlds, we walk around and, you know, we're just sort of like in the mundane or in the, the process of our lives. Of, and it's just something to be appreciated. There's magic and there's energy. There's something about it that, you know, is good for us on many levels. And so what I'm trying to get everybody to do is kind of look a little bit closer, find that magic, find the light coming out of the dark. I'm inviting you to actually get a little bit closer and just appreciate. Mostly what the, the reaction is exactly what I'm going for is, wait a minute, I, is this real? Or is this, and as you get closer and you get drawn in, that's when it's sort of, turns into what it actually is as a paper and that's the moment where it breaks away that illusion and you're like and it's exciting because at first you really did think that it was plants um, and I've had a lot of people come around to like when I'm doing an art sale and they're asking me why does the title of your company say paper blooms what does that mean and I'm like well, it's all paper and then that was the moment where they're like I thought these were real and it's exciting for me because that's what I'm, I'm trying to do and that's part of the challenge and the fascination with creating my work is trying to get as close to nature as possible to build upon that illusion and that's what keeps me going. 